Hi guys, it's the uh, night before the exam, um, so a couple of people have put questions up on the YouTube channel just about final things. Uh, if it is late, the most important thing you do now is not watch this video, it is go to sleep. Most important thing is to go to sleep. I'm hoping most of you see this video in the morning, the morning of the exam, and haven't stayed up to watch it. That would be a poor choice. Okay, so the questions that I've been asked uh, to help with and people have asked me about are, uh, so uh, we got someone asking about the Imar mate, sorry, just ducking down so I can read the question. Uh, we got someone asking me about the Imar mate and we've got someone asking me about, what was the other one? Oh, uh, 12 marker for the role of the Trinity in creation. Two tough questions there. Uh, I'm going to make some signs, so I've got some signs. Uh, yeah, that should be enough signs to write on. 15. Do I need some more sticks? Uh, no, that'll be enough. All right. I mean, 15 should be enough. I've got a lot of snowballs there. Let's put those away. So, and then someone asked them about some more four and five mark questions. So, I'm not going to go through four and five mark questions tonight because it's going to make the video too long. Uh, but if you do want to look for lots of questions, um, one school that's got an amazing uh, selection of resources. If you type in Ecclesfield School uh, RE Revision, they've got a real nice database of sort of questions and all sorts of things uh, that you can look at. I'd really recommend. Oh no, you silly person! I'd really recommend having a look at them. Okay, I think that's um, a smart thing to look at, and they've got a data bank of of questions, four and five mark questions, potential ones coming up. Really worth looking into if you've got some time tomorrow morning uh, and just eliminate those ones that you know aren't on the spec this year and therefore you know won't come up. But let's quickly fly through these two questions. So we've got a 12 mark question about the role of the Trinity in creation. Now, okay, yeah, I had creation here and the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So I thought I had it in this corner. How would you do a 12 mark question about this? So if it said for a 12 mark question, uh, for example, the question might be uh, the Father has. Um, has the most important role in creation. I mean, it's a pig of a question. Um, so, what I would be doing is I'll be saying, oh, for many Christians, the Father does have the most important role in creation. Uh, it is said that the Father is the creator, and therefore it's his will that the world is created. Okay, that'd be my first point. And then I'll be like, oh, it's the Father uh, who creates uh, Adam in his own image, okay, uh, and it's the father who judges and stuff like that. I'll be talking about those sort of things, and this makes him the most important because uh, this suggests that the father is the one who chose to create Adam, and it's through his omnipotence that Adam is created. Then I do one paragraph uh, about Jesus, and I'd say uh, the word, okay, so you're going to say the word is, is with them at the start of creation, okay. This is what we called our, our polar bear, and I think I've still got it written on the outside of the church, and this always hurts my ankles. I don't care. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. So you've got, and God said, let there be light. Uh, God created man in his own image. You can say this is the role of the Father to create. Uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Okay, there we go. That's a quote I was hoping would be there. Okay, this is suggesting that Jesus has been there since the form of creation, and it is the Word of God that uh, allows creation to happen. Uh, this shows that Jesus could also be considered the most important part of creation. I don't think it's a strong argument. Uh, and the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, hovers over the waters. And this shows that the Holy Spirit is also an active part of creation. Uh, and without the Holy Spirit, there could not have been a creation because it is he who is e able to interact with the world. Whereas the Father is in the heavens, the Holy Spirit is present on earth and therefore can make creation possible. Uh, my conclusion would either be the Father is the most important part. I would agree with that. Okay, Or, and I think you're going to know I'm going to say, coward's way out. All three elements of, crea of the, the Trinity are equally important because they are three and yet one. And the Bible says not that the Father has created the world, but that God has created the world. And I'd probably use bang, bang, bang. For example, the Bible says, uh, and God said, let there be light. It doesn't say the Father said, let there be light. It doesn't say the Son said, let there be light. It says God created, said, let there be light. Okay, and then I'd be like, and it says God created man in his own image, not the Father, even though many Christians attribute that to the Father. It says God, blah, 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 blah. That's how I do a 12 marker on the different roles within creation. Not a fun question. I think it's easy to get yourself tripped up and muddled in that question. That's roughly how I'd approach that. And then someone else asked me about a question about the imam mate. Okay. Imar mate, climb up on here, climb up round here, 
rabbits, your chill out, ankles broken again, okay. Uh, in my mate, where did I put the in my mate? I can't remember where the in my mate is. I don't know, wherever the in my mate is, oh my lord, uh, probably down here with Ali being the um, friend of Allah. So, in my mate, I'm a mate, I'm a mate. I mean, a 12 mark question could be like uh, the imam mate is the most important source of authority. I mean, they might even be as specific to say uh, the imam mate is the most important source of authority to Shia Muslims. Okay, so it might say to Shia Muslims. Okay, so if you want two paragraphs about why the Imam is so important, you can go for firstly, the Imam are said to be chosen by Allah to lead the faith uh, after the death of the Prophet. For example, Shia Muslims say, and Ali is the friend of Allah, and though they are not considered prophets, they are considered special people who have given a specific role to lead uh, the faith. You could say, oh, the Imam is so important because it's human leaders of the religion who can make decisions based on what is right for the people and can adjust uh, the faith to changing times. You can say, oh, the Imam is so important because the final Imam, the hidden Imam, the hidden Mahdi, as he's called, uh, his reoccurrence, his reappearance, he's the one who's disappeared. His reappearance is a thing that is going to suggest that the end of the world is here and he is fundamental with the end of times for Shia Muslims and that, uh, that, that when he returns with Jesus, the world will end and this is how everyone gets into heaven. So you can talk about that. Um, then you can talk about however there's other important aspects, there's other important um, source of authority for Shia Muslims. Okay, obviously, now can I put a sign there? Oh, sign there. Okay, obviously Quran is a source of authority for Shia Muslims. That's an easy one, okay. I probably, oh, whoopsie, I've just pressed the wrong button. Uh, the Quran is a source, of, oh, I don't know what I did there. Wow, it's like the world reappeared, weird. Uh, the Quran is a source of authority for Shia Muslims. Why is that important? Well, the Quran is the direct word of God. It cannot be. Um, it's still present on the earth today, and it cannot be changed. Uh, this means uh, Muslims can still refer to the Quran, whereas the Imams have not existed for hundreds of years. So, therefore, their assistance and authority is no longer with us on this earth. Okay. Um, I mean, would they allow angels as a source of authority? I would expect so. And you can go, angel source of authority because they are a direct messenger from God, so their words can be trusted. Okay. Uh, but then the prophets. The prophets are a source of authority. The prophets are a great source of authority because they are chosen by God uh, and they are uh, messengers of God more so than the... Um, uh, the, the, the 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 imams who are not uh, as as uh, as holy as prophets they are not considered prophets themselves so the prophets themselves must be more important uh, because the uh, the imams are merely the friends of Allah whereas the prophets are chosen messengers of Allah and you could then say this is why they are truly more important and the imamate isn't as important okay so I hope that helps with those two questions once again if you just want to look through some four and five mark questions Ecclesfield School has a nice question bank if you type in Ecclesfield School revision go right the way down to the bottom of that list it's got four or five mark question banks on there okay um but it's basically going to be a lot of these topics okay four against four against so oh, all the topics are outside and just add the word how does this influence christians or what two teachings about this okay that's what most of them are going to be okay uh explain two ways that crucifixion influences christians explain two ways that the resurrection uh, explain two christian teachings about the ascension they're all going to be like that. Explain two ways that evangelism influences Christians. Explain two uh, Christian teachings about baptism. They're going to be relatively similar, okay? So make sure you know your topics and you should be able to say something about all of those ideas, okay? Uh, so that is the final thing I'm going to say. I'm making this video short and sweet, which also goes with the comment from someone who said these are nice videos but they're too long. You're correct. They are too long. Um, and me and the word, i just got to say good luck tomorrow. Um, I will go straight on from these videos into revision videos for the themes papers. Um, now my school do A, B, D, E, so that's the themes we'll probably be providing first, but I'll try and do themes videos for C and F, just in case other schools are doing those as well, as I see that these are being watched by other places other than uh, my school. Um, but good luck tomorrow. Don't forget, good night's sleep, so hopefully you're not watching it tonight. Wake up in the morning, speak to your teachers, eat something beforehand, okay? Deep breaths, sensible, okay? Final notes reading as you go in there. And depending on the rules within your school, get some quotes written down on your paper somewhere at the start, okay? Uh, I mean, I always tell my students to do that. 
like obviously follow the school rules without you getting in trouble but having a few quotes written on the front of the paper and remembering to go back to them okay at the end okay those are sort of things that are useful your brain is holding all that information if you get it written down then those quotes are there and you won't have to store them quite as long and you can actually get on with remembering what it is for the paper and then turn to the front and just make sure tick your quotes off as you use and be like cool i use that one cool i use that one nice little tip Time out your sections, 25 minutes per section. I personally wrote down when I did my exams how long I was going to spend on each section so I knew when to move on, but that's up to you. But most importantly, good luck. Um, if you have any last minute questions, uh, put them in the YouTube comments and I'll try and answer them. Just literally type in message to you. That's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, and fill in every single question, answer every single question. Okay, if in doubt, if it's a practice question, say it brings them closer to God, okay? If in doubt, on a 12 mark question and you're really stuck, just do a few par like bullet points either side of the argument. The examiners have to give you four marks if you've shown both sides of the argument, okay? That's all I'm gonna say, good luck tomorrow.